am Adam and we are at this old abandoned college and I want to talk about why I don't personally use Brave the browser. It really boils down to three main reasons but before we begin I want to let's agree on what the Brave browser really is. It is a browser aimed for use privacy and anonymity and is built on Chromium project, which is the base on which the Google Chrome browser is based on. And the Chromium project is, is developed by Google itself. And they added a lot of features, uh, mostly oriented toward, towards privacy. And I tried to use it for a couple of months. I really wanted to believe in Brave, because it's also a free software, but I just couldn't ignore the, these three most important things that I don't use it for, and I I went back to uh, I went back to Firefox. So number one reason, uh, I don't think the ad system is ethical. Now don't get me wrong, I do block ads uh, mostly in Firefox, but what Brave does is that they block ads everywhere and then they have this ad program where they show you their own ads that you make some some portion of money from by agreeing on viewing them but Brave also the Brave the company behind the browser also gets a portion so they block ads that websites decided to put on their sites in order to make money off their site they block it so they block the ad revenue from the site owners and replace it with ad revenue of their own. Uh, only without the tracking itself. Although it's also tailored to your liking, but they don't. They say that they don't put any uh, ID on your account. But they're still replacing some revenue system that the website owner chosen with their own money instead of just blocking it for the user. And I think it's unethical compared to just blocking ads. And the second reason is the BAT, the BAT tokens, or the built-in cryptocurrency in Brave Browser. And the problem with that is that you can earn the cryptocurrency by viewing these tailored ads built into Brave, or you can fund the, the BAT, the, the cryptocurrency, into it. And you can give it to sites as a gift, and and the sites then can exchange them. But for you to withdraw the currency into real money, you need to use the Uphold account. And Uphold is another company uh, that's like a crypto bank. And in order for you to register and verify account to withdraw the BAT tokens, you need to verify your identity with your real name, you need to take a picture of yourself and you need to provide a photo of your driving license or ID card or passport. Because they are a bank, so they obviously they somehow need to need you to get verified. But because you need a verification of, of uphold to withdraw the cryptocurrency of anonymous Brave browser, there is this there is this strict connection between your real life account of uphold and your wallet ID of cryptocurrency inside the Brave browser that aims to be anonymous and private. And for me this seems worse than using vanilla Google Chrome with everything in it. So that's that's the thing. And the other thing is that if you dislike Google as a company for the violations of privacy and use the data and data collection, then by using Chromium based browsers such as Brave, you are still supporting the Google company which is making the Chromium project possible. You are sti still using their features, still supporting the work that they do with just a different subversion of the browser. So, so yeah, yeah, I, I dislike it because they want to present the browser as the as a more anonymous and private thing to use to browse the web but 
you can get the tokens out of it without revealing your true identity and you can achieve all of pros all of uh, all of the brave browser features with just settings and two add-ons in Firefox and you can get away with a, of the chromium project at all and you don't need a special application of sorts although it is free software yeah so that's my take on why I don't personally use brave although I would like to or as much as I'd like to yeah, I still promote Firefox as I go, and it doesn't change. Yeah, so see you next time.